Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In the Sudini tutorial, we want to create some mechanical parts that get cut away and displaced based on the distance to curves. Let's start in a new scene and set up a simple circle that has plenty of subdivisions and put it into a sweep. I will use a um, cross section, which is a grid set to one by one and give it two by two columns and maybe bevel the corners a bit and now we can connect it into the sweep and make sure we reverse the cross section to have the normals point outwards activate the UVs if you want to and I would also suggest to give it a lot more resolution. Um, the grid should have maybe a resolution of 0.05. So we have plenty of uh, detail to be displaced later on. Now this geometry should interact with a uh, tube. So let's set up a tube and only uh, come up with a few lines. So we set the orientation to Z and switch it to columns. Let's uh, display the sweep in the background to see or to make sure that uh, both are matching. I make the height a little bit, bit bigger and also increase the radius on one side. And then I'll try to come up with an overall radius, this, this, which is almost uh, touching the um, my, my mesh. It can float a bit above it. I would even suggest it does a bit. And then we would use the distance from geometry node. There are a couple of distance node, but distance from geometry will make sure we measure the distance from the polygon surface to those curves or line segments. Now the distance can be fed directly into the new clip node uh, by switching the clip attribute to dist. And once you play with the distance, you should see it taking effect. I will copy the distance parameter for later use and make sure to keep the primitives. So we want a group below primitives. You can also check using the group icon here. It has a primitive group called below now. And this is what I would like to displace inwards. So let's use an attribute wrangle which is running over points and call it displace and connect it to our tube lines. So the first thing we want is to create a float parameter called radius. And in there we are going to paste relative references. So this would refer back to the distance of our clip node. Next, I would like to find the minimal position, so the closest position on our tube curves. And I would also like to know the direction from that minimal position back to our surface. So let's normalize the minimal position minus our position and then we should be able to set VHP to pause. You will now see all points jumping there. So let's restrict this to primitives in our below group. So now this is touching the closest position of our curves. And then we are going to subtract it by the direction multiplied by the radius. So that way we get the desired effect. Thank you for watching.